Welcome to this discussion on microbursts for National Weather Service Burlington's Severe Weather Awareness Week. A microburst is a small-scale downrush of intense surface winds, roughly two and a half miles across or less. Microbursts are associated with the downdraft portion of a thunderstorm, or what we call thunderstorm outflow. This can be accompanied by rain, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. In the schematic shown, as rain and wind rush to the ground and come into contact with it, some of the stronger winds spread outward from the center and curl upward, producing the two areas shown in the red boxes. Meteorologists have defined two types of microbursts, wet and dry. Wet microbursts, more common east of the Rockies, form in warm and humid climates, while dry microbursts are more common in the western U.S., where air masses are typically drier. Though microbursts in the North Country are fairly infrequent, when they do occur, they are of the wet microburst variety. While microbursts can share similar characteristics to tornadoes, there are important distinctions between the two. Microbursts and tornadoes are both capable of producing significant and similar damage. In fact, microbursts can produce damage that is similar to a weaker moderate strength tornado. The major difference between the two phenomenon is their duration. Microbursts are often of short duration, though they can occur repeatedly if environmental conditions are right. The National Weather Service doesn't issue a product specifically for microbursts. However, severe thunderstorm warnings are used for cases when microbursts are expected to cause significant damage. For rapidly developing storms not at severe levels, which may produce weaker downbursts, special weather statements are issued.